What are you doing? Guela, this is Mira, my girlfriend. Hayden, we are married. How possibly you can have a girlfriend? That's the reason why I divorced you. I already signed the divorce paper. Hayden, we were married for eight years. I signed the divorce papers five years ago because I was angry. And you never signed them back. Things are different now. Are you trying to get back at me? Is this your idea of revenge? Because I left you when I was pregnant and only came back five years ago with a baby. Don't you get it, Leila? I don't love you anymore. Then who you love, huh? What's wrong with loving me? I'm a famous actress. I'm better than you in every possible. You shut up! I want to hear it from you. It's true. I love her. And we're getting married soon. Congratulations. Mr. McKinley, you really gave me a great show. It's too bad you're not an actor. Get out. I said get out. Hayden, I made sure Miss Mira receives the top high luxury endorsements as a pair of this contract. Anything else? I'm just wondering, why you didn't tell Miss Leila about your condition? Kaya, it's not a common cold. It's a brain tumor. The doctor said if I don't have the surgery soon, then my days are numbered. Then let's do this. What are you waiting for? At least there's a 10% of chance of success. It's only 10%. Kaya. The Nelsons aren't her real family. And she has to raise our child, Helios, for the last five years by herself. She had such a hard life. I owe her so much. But maybe Miss Leila, she wants to be there. She wants to be there for you. Kyle. Please, make sure. If the surgery fails, you take all my assets in my name and transfer it to her. Mommy, did the bad guy wake up? Not yet. Then who is entertain our guest? Guest? Hello, uh, who are you? <laughs> oh, dear daughter, we finally found you. Uh, I'm sorry, but do I know you? You're our daughter. We recognize you anywhere. Layla, do you have a flower-shaped birthmark on your inner left thigh? Yes. How would I know that if you weren't our daughter? <laughs> Twenty years ago, we accidentally lost you. We've been searching for you ever since then. These past 20 years, your mother has been very ill. And there have been a lot of ups and downs for our family. But things are on track now, and we can finally bring you home. When you were sick, Hayden helped us procure some hair samples from you. And it proved that you are our daughter. Layla, I am going to name you the heir to the Smith family. The Smith family? Layla, please, come home with us. I'm sorry, but I'm Hayden's wife now. We can't go with you. My 
Dear silly daughter, you still think of yourself as his wife? He's already told you that he wants to divorce you. If he is willing to abandon the heir to the great smith fortune, he doesn't deserve you. Yeah, but we have been married for years and we have a son now. I have to find out why he's divorcing me. But, but your dad, family... Dad, dad, but... mom, I hope you can respect my choice. We understand. But you have to promise us, if he ever treats you badly in any way whatsoever, I don't want you to hesitate to call us and we'll come get you. Mommy, when we can live with Daddy again? When he will back, he will let us to have the big room. You will never get the big room again, as long as you live here in my house. And this is the final contract for our financial agreement. From now on, there's no reason to talk to each other anymore. You left my money, and I will do this. Again. Listen, kid. I didn't abandon your mom. Your mom left by herself five years ago. I didn't force her to do anything. Hayden, I know that you're doing this on purpose. You just want to force me to go back into the Smith family. Enough, Lila. What does it even matter if you go back to the Smith family or not? I'm in love with someone else. And I don't feel anything for you anymore. That's the real reason, you know? But what about me? Didn't you ever love me? The only reason was... Helios. I wanted to be with you and Helios because of my grandmother. You know that she always wanted to have a grandchild. That's the reason why. And I really never have any feelings for you. We were just two playthings to keep me busy for a while. Hayden, how could you do this to me and Helios when I love you the most in this world? I just thought it's funny. Hayden, I don't know if you're being honest or you have other secrets, but I hope you will never speak like this to me again. Hayden, if you care at all about me, please. Don't abandon me and Helles. If it's my love you won, that was the last time I gave it to you. What do you mean? I mean, since you so easily fought for my affection, this kiss should help you if I was hurting your feelings. We're even now. So you kiss me just to humiliate me? You just don't get it, do you? I'm just so tired of this relationship. And I'm starting to get nauseous when I'm kissing you. I've already said so many things to hurt her. Now I can never let this mask slip. And just forget the whole five million dollar. Just keep this annoying thing and just leave my house, okay? In the three years we were married, I covered all the expenses. I gave you the title of Mrs. McKinley, plus covered the medical bills for hurting Maria. I would say you owe me five million dollars in total. Five million dollars? I'm not a Miss Nelson anymore. I would never be able to to pay this much money. You know what? Come here during the day and be my mate. And at night, you will be a stripper at my club. I guess that's the way how you pay back five million dollars in a few years. I never imagined that after all what we've been through, we're gonna end up in this way. 
I will never love you again. Mommy, I'm getting cold. Alice, just a second. Mommy will get you back to get you checked, okay? Can we get home? From now on, we have no reason to speak to each other again. Hello, it's Leila. Mr. McKinley, the tumor has pressed on the nerve in your brain, which will most likely cause you to become emotionally volatile. You might even experience some memory loss. Memory loss? It means he's forget about us. It's possible. Although his life is not in danger for the time being, the gradual erosion of his memory will be painful for Mr. McKinley. But again, the chances of the operation being successful are very small, right? Mm. Mom, please make sure I don't have the surgery before I forget everyone, okay? Hayden. Mom. This is some freshly warmed chocolate milk. Give it to Helios. He may catch a cold if he doesn't stay warm. Thank you so much. Oh, Layla, just don't have to say thank you to your mom. Are you going to go back to Hayden's house? Yeah, I need to pick up some stuff, but I will make sure he is not around. Oh, please, just forget about your past and get ready to make a new life in the Smith family. Leila? Kyle told me you wouldn't be at home. I just came back to the cops. Where are you going? Hayden, we are divorced. You said so yourself. Are you seriously pretending to be upset now? Divorce? How could I possibly divorce you? You signed this yourself, okay? Don't you remember? Leila, don't let him fool you with that fearful look anymore. Don't you ever leave me. <coughs> hey there! So, you are saying that Hayden divorced me because he has a brain tumor? Yes. Why he has been such a devil? I wouldn't leave him because of that. His uh, brain tumors start to press on his nerves and makes him disoriented. He doesn't seem to remember divorcing you or have a brain tumor. I guess he avoided all this pain. Leila, can mom please ask you stay with Hayden? If nothing has happened until his memory com is completely gone. Once that happens, I will send him to surgery, but because of the procedure is so risky, Hayden probably won't wake up. So you want me to watch how he slowly forgets about me? Leila, I will let you do what you want. I'm not forcing you. Anyways, since I signed the divorce papers, my relationship with Hayden was over. I should probably go home now. So I really divorced her. Hayden, you deserve to die.
Hey, Dan. Your breakfast is ready. What are you doing here? What's wrong? Isn't I supposed to be your mate? I haven't paid back the five million dollars yet. I divorced you, Lila. So why are you still staying here? It's just like I say. I have to pay you back, and I'm going to do that. So what? The Smith family can't even come up with five million dollar to pay off your debt, or what? Of course not. This deal includes only me, not the Smith family. Hayden, don't you dare try to push me away again. You don't get it, Lada, do you? I'm not interested in you anymore. And when I see your face, I actually feel sick. So you don't need to pay me anything back. Just leave the house, get the hell out of here, and go back to your Smith house. Your room is full of dust. When last time you even cleaned it, I wanted to. What is this? What is this? If you don't love me anymore, then why you need to remind yourselves that we are divorced? Why you want to push me away after all? Enough! Slowly forgetting everyone and everything. I'm turning to a monster. So please, Leila, I'm begging you. Let me forget you. I really don't want to hurt you anymore. Do you remember me? Layla. Am I still that Layla you fall in love with? Mm. Am I? Yes. Then don't do this. Don't push me away while you still remember me. While you haven't forgot that you love me. Aren't you afraid that I hurt you again? Or that I forget you? I count to three. If you don't kneel in front of me, your son won't make it tonight. One, two. I'm begging you, please save my child. Why would I be afraid? We're already divorced. I can leave you whenever I want. You shouldn't push me away just because you think you're right. You understand? If I'm going to leave you, then it will be on my own terms. Hayden, find peace and forget about me. Are you going to the office today? Yeah, I have to straighten some things, just in case if I end up on the operation table again. Hayden, don't say that. You might be in a 10%. <sighs> Come on, I already used all my luck just in meeting you. I already feel like I can't remember a lot of things. Even my memories of you are fragmented. Layla, I don't even really remember how I met you. Isn't it unfair that you're hurting and I'm slowly fading away? Tell me, what do you remember? I remember that we were deeply in love, but I was afraid to admit it. Anything else? Well, the first three years of our marriage was full of joy. But I'm scared to lose all this memories. Mommy! He has, won't go to school today and stay, but he wants he looking for his mommy. So the Smith family advised me to bring him here. Mommy, why are you back after this go that guy kick us out? Who are you? She is not your mommy. What kind of kid are you to claim randomly that your mom lives here? You evil. 
Say sorry to my mommy. Tell us. You're such a bad guy. You will never let my mommy sleep. Your mommy? I never had kids with your so-called mommy, so get this bastard out of my house. Hayden, this is our son. Don't you remember? What? How is it possible? How could I not know that you had a baby? Hayden, I left you when I was pregnant. Then, after five years, I come back with the Hellis. You let us live in your basement. But then, when I was in hospital, you take care of him because of me. I didn't. That was me. How, how can I forget my own child? So you're my dad? What's your name, son? Hello. I'm really sorry, Helios. Forgive me for forgetting you. Doctor, please help Hayden. He already forgot so much. He doesn't even remember his own son now. I'm sorry, but nothing can be done unless the tumor is removed. It's too risky. Mr. McKinley's condition is getting worse. If this continues, in less than a week, he won't be able to recognize anyone. And by then, even if the operation is successful... Hayden say he wanted to wait until he lost his memory before having the operation. He probably want to let himself forget us so he could distance himself from us. Maybe he thought that it was easy. I'll oh. pay a little bit. But it will be even more painful for me to watch how he slowly forgets me. Heidi, I'll always be there for you. So don't you dare forget me. Miss Leila! Uh, who are you? Miss Ella, I am Joseph, Mr. Smith's assistant. You haven't contacted him for a few days. He's worried about you. He yeah. has been waiting for you to return. Well, please tell him that I can't go back just yet. Pardon me? Miss, Mr. Smith said that you must come back no matter what. Who the hell are you? How dare you touch my wife? Who the hell are you? How dare you touch my wife? Hey then, Miss Leila is divorced from you. It's time for me to return her to the Smith family. Divorce? How could I possibly divorce Leila? I bet the Smith family planned some tricks on me, huh? So that he can hook up with her. Tell me, who should I beat up first? You. Joseph, when I settle the things here, I will go back and talk to them. I'm really sorry for the trouble. He didn't sign the divorce paper. He helped Miss Layla and the Smith family to get to know each other. Why is he backtracking now and pretending nothing ever happened? Joseph, please tell Mr. Smith that we are sorry. But, Hayden, Hayden has a brain tumor, and he's losing his memory. What? But situation here is only getting worse. He's forgetting everything. And Miss Leila is going to be the one who's going to accompany him for his final moments. And soon enough, he'll forget her too. But when the time comes, Layla will get back to the Smith family. And I hope that Smith family can accommodate this accordingly.
You really divorced me because you wanted to have an affair with someone of the Smith family? Hayden, have you completely forgot about past five years? What? You forced me to marry you three years ago, not five years ago. Are you really divorcing me because you want to run off to another rich guy's mansion? You're so shameless, aren't you? It looks like he forgot the last five years of our lives after he returned from the office. Do you even remember why you went back to the office today? Yeah. Just needed to settle a collaboration with a West group. But you don't need to change the subject on me, okay? Hayden, I wouldn't do anything to betray you. The Smith is just my family. I didn't know. You were so shameless. You call yourself the daughter of the richest family in the world. Do you really think I can do this to you? I didn't know you were so shameless to call yourself daughter of the richest family in the world. You don't do anything that can do this to you. Hayden, you never loved me. Make a good point. From the moment on, you dropped me too fast to marry you. You meant nothing to me. I never loved you. Hayden. I don't get it. You are nice to me. And then you disgust it with me. Tell me, which one is the real one? Does it hurt? Next time, don't let any man touch you again. Otherwise, it will be even worse. Of course. By the way, do you know where Maria is? You can ask the Nelson family about her. She's your sister. You should know where she is. Hayden, you do know that Maria is not my real sister. She is a biological daughter of the Nelson family and I am just adopted one. Well, you should also know that Maria is in jail. How can that be? Well, you should also know that Maria is in jail. How can that be? Someone as kind as Maria would go to jail. Someone was setting her up. Was it you, Lila? You don't know anything. Are you really just going to assume that I'm the bad guy here? You're always such a nasty bitch. Did you forget that Maria Nelson went to jail because she tried to hurt me? You're just jealous of Maria, that she is the true Nelson's family heir. After she returned, there was just no any need for you anymore. So you got rid of her, do you? You are the one who destroys everything. Hayden, that's enough. Then are you coming with me right now to confess that Maria is innocent and to confess that you are the reason why she's in prison? I said it's enough. Did I strike a nerve? You better come in with me right now and getting Maria out of jail. How dare you! After warming up your way in the Smith family, you dare to hit me? Maria step me. Have you come to your senses, Hayden? I can live with you forgetting me. But how could you forget what Maria did? At least you get to blissfully forget all of it. But what about me? Maria. Hayden, I won't care for you anymore. 
Dale la It's all my fault. I hurt him because I was angry. I don't blame you, Nana. You have done a good job. I don't think anyone has been able to stand seeing. I hadn't tried to defend Maria. Just didn't realize that his condition became worse so fast. It's been less than half a month, and I already have the schedule and operation for him. I'm just so scared. Lela, then it's all I have left. What I will do if he left me behind? Who's there? It's so noisy. Hayden, you're awake. Hayden, do you remember me? Yeah, you're my wife, you're Lila. Yes, I'm your wife, Lila. But other than our wedding day, I really can't remember anything else. It's okay. It's actually good that you just remember this day. Hayden, have some water. Thanks, nurse. What did you call me?